Hey guys, so we're at Next Spot right here. So you guys can see all the JDM ness right here. So you guys can see my car, which is pretty dirty, I know, I know. So the Toyota MRS. We have a, an Evo right there. A beautiful Evo. And then we have, I think it's a Focus ST, not the RS. And then we have the RX-7, beautiful. Oh, you guys can see that turbo, that intercooler right there. Oh, that's really nice. guys welcome to the vlog I'm with so, Biller so today we're gonna be working on our cars it's Saturday beautiful day um, I will be linking up the pictures of us going to next mod so you guys will be will be seeing really nice cars and so yeah we're gonna be washing our cars uh, checking the old some maintenance stuff so uh, stay tuned for more guys and uh, keep watching hey guys so actually Billy and I we got some good stuff at Kenyan Tire to clean the car so we were pretty low on stock uh, so we got some shampoo that's a good stuff I, I like this stuff one of my buddy he's um, a detailer and he uses uh, this stuff from the UK so I've seen his work with uh, many cars and uh, it's actually pretty good um, product it's not cheap or or whatever but um, yeah I really like it um, make sure to read the back and it's really it, it keeps the, the pH uh, level so like neutral pH so technically seven. Uh, we got some wheel cleaner. Uh, we got like some towels and stuff, some sponge. We were low. Uh, it's more sponge and like um, hen sponge, I guess if you want to call it. We got like buckets too. Uh, that that thing's pretty good too when you want to use a two bucket system to clean your car. So to really make sure that you keep like all the contaminants and like debris or like uh, rocks or whatever that's dirty that could scratch your paint. Uh, uh, that's an old one. We probably won't use this one. I got new paint, so we gotta keep my paint fresh, guys. Um, I got some an oil for my car. That's, I'm gonna leave this one inside the car when I do like uh, when I fill up the car with gas. Make sure that everything is okay. Uh, we got some tire tire dressing, more towels. Uh, yeah, I think more towels, some chamois. Yeah, we got some chamois. Uh, here we got like all the good stuff too. Some purple power. We got some soap, everything. So basically we're gonna be cleaning the IS 300 and we're gonna be cleaning the Toyota MRS. So uh, let's get it guys. All right guys, so back to the engine bay. So uh, we're gonna be checking oil. We're gonna be checking our math. Make sure that the battery is nicely connected. There's no um, corrosion or anything. We're gonna be checking all fluids. Uh, I will be doing um, a how to change fluids video pretty soon. Uh, how to change oil, how to change spark plugs, all that good stuff, filter. Um, I am ordering some parts really soon. This car will definitely be getting a detail. I'm, I'm talking to a guy right now, so I'm in the process of making sure that we get a proper detail for the car. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be doing full detail inside, outside, shampooing, wax, everything, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah so we're also going to be cleaning inside the engine bay also so we really want to make sure that everything is fresh and nice and so ready to go for summer we're going to be doing lots of meets uh i want to have one or two track days for this car for sure uh yeah one or two track days for this car we're going to be doing meets uh we're going to be doing some cruise too i got some buddies in buddies in toronto too that are interested uh, in cruising with me uh going to some hills too so we're going to be doing a lot of things this summer guys i really want to make sure that you guys stay tuned so for that make sure to subscribe to the channel uh keep support i love you guys so much for all the support since i started doing my youtube uh, you guys have have been nothing but fantastic uh, all right so let's get to the good stuff and uh, before we start i really love that japanese writing there on the exhaust it's probably my favorite piece for the car right now yeah so as I was saying I'm gonna be ordering some parts for the oil um, I'm also gonna be uh, ordering some filters uh, like I said spark plugs all, all, uh, pretty much everything that's required for a good maintenance uh, last year I got the car pretty late so I wasn't really able to check everything out make sure that everything was a-okay but uh, yeah guys so we're gonna be definitely 
going to do some maintenance before we head into the track season all the crews and not damage everything the really good news with this engine um, my oil is at full uh, it's not leaking oil it's not burning oil so I had a Toyota Celica uh, we have a Toyota Matrix and both of these uh, both of those cars are both uh, well my Celica I blew my the engine out of my Celica but the Matrix is currently uh, burning oil so uh, that's really not good but uh, for this one, my engine is really running pretty strong still, so uh, I'm really happy for that. So we can push it. So we're done with cleaning the um, the MAF, put back everything. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna screw this screw here and that screw there. And um, for the coolant, my coolant is pretty good. Uh, I had it change uh, in Japan before coming here. However, I, yeah, you guys can see full, and um, so yeah, that's pretty good. It's actually even <laughs> overfilled. Or but uh, yeah, so as I was saying, the coolant in Japan is, um, it doesn't go uh, below zero, so that's not good. So I'm gonna have to change it to the ones here that go uh, minus 40. Reason is, um, when it gets cold here in Canada, uh, because the coolant doesn't go that low, um, there's chances of my block cracking. That's what I read online after doing research. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but I I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to take the risk. So I will change it. It's not too expensive, and we're gonna keep ourselves from lots of headaches. All right, so we did coolant, we checked the oil, uh, we checked the math, uh, my battery connectors, they look good, clean, there's not too much corrosion. Um, so yeah, now we're going to be cleaning the car and I will have the how-to videos to change all that good stuff inside the engine bay. Uh, what you right, opening, baby? I'm trying to open the, uh, like the, the cup holders. They've been stuck since I got the car and I'm just trying to brute force it now because it's been two years and I'm just tired of it. I actually want to use it, so let's try this. Go, baby. I can get it on one side, but show me your bench oh, power. Oh, I'm breaking it now. Hold on. All right, let's go back to our stuff. We'll come back when Billy's done. That might be in two days, in two minutes. We don't know. All right, guys, if you guys are considering getting a car from Japan, I highly recommend it. I have very minimal rusted bolts on this car. Um, actually. Give me a second, I'll show you guys my Civic so you guys can see the difference. So yeah, so you guys can see the difference, right? It's a huge difference. Look, look at that battery. Everything's orange, even corrosion on that bolt. Corrosion on that bolt, wow. Here the trucks, rust, 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 rust. Everything's rusted, rust, rust. It's really bad, it's crazy. So yeah. Um, you guys can see that leak over there. Every oh, yeah, you guys can see that leak. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, actually, I'll go back to my car. <laughs> Give me a sec. So, yeah, as I was saying, if you guys are considering getting a car from Japan, I would highly recommend getting something from over there if you want to build your car because you're getting a car really clean. Everything will be nice and tidy and with low mileage, too. I'll show you guys actually one thing before we start washing is this look at that boom boom it's all black it's like brand new like from factory that's crazy guys my car has 130,000 kilometers on it so that's like roughly 70,000 miles I would say and look at that it's like brand new from like factory that's crazy so yeah I would Highly recommend get, you guys get in car from Japan. Do it. Like Shia LaBeouf said, just do it. All right, let's clean this car up. All quick tip I like to do is to keep um, an oil jug, so like one quart of oil in your car. So whenever you're filling up, always make sure to check your, your oil dipstick to make sure that everything is nice and tidy and well maintenance. And um, so yeah, so let's say you see you're missing oil um, at the gas station, take, your, take a quick second, you know, fill everything up and that will, um, that will have a result that your engine will be operating uh, the way it should be. So that's the um, duties quick tip for today. Um, yeah, so keep watching guys, thank you so much.
make sure to get yourself a strap too so your oil is not moving left right when you're driving back and forth or leaking or whatever so you don't have like a big mess to deal to uh to to deal with at the end so that, that would be pretty um annoying so all right so i'm gonna leave you guys that's something i just thought of uh before washing the car so in three two one bah. Stranded.